So here I'm just going to give a brief review of aircraft control services. And this comes from MIT OpenCourseWare, Course 16.61, Lecture 17, Page 1. So if I try to sketch a schematic drawing of an aircraft, like the fuselage, there's the wing. Here's the horizontal tail, and there's the vertical tail, and here's maybe a propeller at the front. Then we define axes like this. The longitudinal axis of the aircraft, uh, which is what we've been calling the X-body axis, points along the fuselage direction and roll is defined about this axis and this is actuated by ailerons which are located on the outboard section of the wing. The pitch axis of the aircraft which is like the YB axis goes along the wing and this is controlled by the elevator which is located on the horizontal tail. Finally, the vertical axis, the ZB axis, is the yaw axis, and this is controlled by the rudder. In addition, thrust is controlled by the propeller, and if there were flaps, they may be located inboard on the wings. Now, how these control surfaces are used to maneuver the aircraft is sort of non-trivial, but in uh, summary, we can say a few things about this at a high level. Two main types of control operations are usually of interest for typical non-aerobatic flight. Changing altitude. This is climb or descent, and this is essentially handled with the elevator and also thrust control. And the second major type of maneuver is turning. Which involves the elevator, ailerons, rudder, and in general, thrust input as well. Now in addition, the flaps exist to increase the wing camber. This is an undeployed flap, and this is a wing with a deployed flap, somewhat exaggerated. So this raises the lift coefficient at a given angle of attack, but of course the drag coefficient is also increased. And the reason we use flaps is to allow aircraft to fly at lower speeds, basically for takeoff and landing. Finally, there's also the uh, engine thrust control, which is fairly self-explanatory. That's all that we're going to cover for today. During the in-class activities, I'm going to try to put all what we've seen so far to life and show you what we can do with the pieces that we're putting together by showing a stability analysis, including animations of aircraft in motion in AVL.